All right, and we're back again. So this time we're going to be talking about achievements. However, I don't think we have a picture of that. Or do we? Uh, let's see. Nope, there's no picture of that. Uh, because... Hmm. Nope, there's none. Well, we're just going to talk about it with heaven hold in the background, I guess. Um, and I see one of these points has been ruined as well. And I know exactly why. We fix that. There we go. So yeah, first out, Exia. They are uh, way, way, way too sweaty. Uh, these are way, way too sweaty. Achievements need to balance of fun and challenging. Meanwhile, route with fun only should still reward enough for tier 2 rewards. Add uh, a few PvP-centric achievements to encourage PvP primary players to chase seasonal rewards. Achievement reward gateways are to spread out. Uh, add more reward gates and decrease the point cost. Example, 3 frames total in reward weapon hero costumes, as in one, uh, frame 1, 400 points, hero costume 600, frame 2, 800, uh, weapon costume 1000, portrait pins, farm trophies 1200, frame 3, 2000, battle medals, gems, etc. as reward gates in between. Hmm, that's not a bad idea actually. I like that. Um... Honestly, though, I don't think they should make it accessible for everyone. I hate when they do that sort of, uh, like, design, like, inclusivity that goes above prestige. Because I think there should be some prestige, and everyone shouldn't have everything automatically by just existing. Some, you have to earn certain things, uh, be it in life or in game. And that's actually a disappointment from me from the last season of achievements. They were way too easy. Like, it was a joke compared to... You know, the first season. I don't mind the, uh, them adding the different types of frames, though. I think that was a good thing. And as we're talking about here, gating them to more rewards, like, uh, along the line. I think that's fine, too. But I don't think it should be just because you play the game, you're going to get everything. I don't think that's how it should be. And I think the very last steps, at least, should be pretty exclusive to those who are able to do it. You know. Um, so, yeah. The, la the last frame was still pretty difficult to get. Uh, I don't think that was very easy for most people. Really? I just felt like the first one was pretty brutal, like I have to admit. And the second one was easier, and then they said they're not going to make it easier for the points I made, and then they made it easier. So, I don't know. I don't mind there being many different types of, uh, types of achievements, though. Like, some should be easy as well, as we have had that, and that's a good thing. But there was just no hard ones. It was mostly easy to medium ones. Yes, basically the first season was very brutal for yeah. uh, new players. <clears throat> the second and third one was really peaceful, except uh, for getting the third uh, border. Oh. Uh, get, getting uh, 5,000 and four, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, 54,000 points uh, was very difficult for like beginners. So yeah, it added a bit of challenge for the uh, experienced player to get the last frame. Oh, okay. Well, I can only obviously only speak from my experience, so it's obviously going to be very different from others. I think one way to do it, though, is to make it a little bit less stat-dependent and more skill-dependent, though. I think that would make sense, because then, like, let's say you need a certain amount of stats, right? So if you need 20% less stats than I have, it makes no difference to 100%, because it's still going to be easy for me, right? Because I can make it. It's when you start going below that, it gets hard, which is the case for many people. However, if you make it skill-based instead... It's going to be the same for everyone, first of all, and then it's actually going to feel hard. And I would, because like I said, I don't make, I, I don't have, it doesn't make it sense to make it hard for new players when I don't even notice a difference anyways, if that makes sense. If you have a boss, you know, yeah. Yeah, so, so may, maybe adding like uh, a difficulty into mm -hmm. uh, the season achievement, like you can choose if you want to do a... Uh, an easy version of achievement where you will see the rewards you can get mm -hmm. or you will have the medium difficulty and finally it's hard difficulty for uh, experienced players and uh, high-end uh, accounts. Yeah, I mean take Clara for example. Let's say next achievement we're gonna have, we're, like next season sorry, we're gonna have an achievement where we need to kill this boss with 50% okay or yeah. 40%. It doesn't make any difference for me. It's going to be easy no matter what. However, for someone who can barely do it, you know, with uh, 70 or, or, or sorry, like uh, like a 30%, it would be hard no matter what. 
So it doesn't matter for me. It's just like I'm not going to be amused in way, and they're going to be angry because it's impossible for them. So yeah, that does make sense. So, uh, yeah. I think those I think those ones where you have unlimited time, but you can't can't take a hit or something like. Yeah, uh, which good. one was it in the in the Christmas store where you oh, had to fuck, kill the boss yeah. with <laughs> with with uh, <laughs> without that taking a hit? Yeah, those are good. I love those. Yeah, but that was pretty skill based. Yeah, definitely. That's a good example for sure, for sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really wonder if they're gonna do Clara actually because that's like now it's no longer only stats; it's literally MR as well, and this is like crazy a lot. So. Well, 50%, I guess that would actually be easier to reach, <laughs> you know, in, in a way, because then you don't need the crazy MR. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on. Moving on. Okay, I didn't have anything to say here, actually. So, Neos is the next one. Uh, a lot of, of the challenges are hard to do, even for a veteran FTP like myself. Granted, I don't sp uh, spend my resources optimal, and I invest heavily in into one element, but I've heard stronger players share the same sentiment. I haven't tried any of the new challenges for this season though, so maybe my option, uh, opinion will change. Davis, they nerfed this mode so hard, there is hardly any complaints, it's fine as it is. Me, don't get why people who can't grind most complain, only cosmetics plus meant uh, to challenge everyone, making a SA shop for costumes to be able to choose, a uh, season achievement shop. Uh, every costume can be uh, bought with good score, grinding for a costume uh, one can't use is sad. Uh, keep a trophy, keep trophy and frame based on score of single season. A shop with those points, interesting. Well, I don't know. I think I like the progressive unlock system, to be honest. We have so many shops for our other things, but yeah. Nihal. Can't say for the ongoing season, but previous ones had two. Two difficult challenges for 99% of the players. Yeah, so I think they're referring to like the first uh, season especially. Maybe the second, I'm not sure. Uh, but okay, interesting. View, difficult, probably fair. Uh, too paining to achieve last tier of badges and such. Yeah, I don't know when what season we had when this was written though. I think it was uh, season 2, but I'm not sure. UF, no more small skins. Hunter, more skill based challenges. Uh, this is why it's so good to have you guys here as well, because otherwise I would just like be like, oh, it's too easy, and you guys say it's hard, so I'm like, eh. <laughs> so it's actually good because, like I said, I only have my own experience, which is obviously very different from many other players. So it's it's a bit easier when you have max collections. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, I can't even remember the last achievements though, but like I think that even the challenges was pretty dry though. In a way, but yeah. Anyways, Skelwin, remove uh, stamina achievement, more short story challenges like Rue, no hit last season. Faxer. Yes. Please, be, please remove oh. the stamina one because yeah. it's it's just whale. You just have to spend money to get it. Yeah, but it makes no sense. Even me as a whale, sure I can do it, but why would I do it? I'm a whale, so I don't even need anything. So I would just buy stamina. I don't need like it's so dumb. <laughs> but if you're like a mid game whale who can't do one of the most hard ones, you can just <laughs> buy more yeah, stamina. And, I don't know. It's and, really and stupid. Just doing, make something else. Doing a hard one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like they can even nerf it to make it like super low though. Like. 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 stamina. That's fair, because everyone is going to get that. Even though it's time gauge, it's still pretty boring, so might as may well make something more fun out of it, but yeah. It's fine uh, to reward people for playing the game the, the entire yeah. time. Yeah, of course. Mm. Well, I think they are making every time easier. thing that I don't, I don't dislike is... Uh, I like challenges, but some like Amazon, Boss Rush... And so, which depends totally on your stats and heroes. Can be really unfair sometimes, but I think on second achievements, we're the best. Five options to skip seems a reasonable number. And the challenges were hard, but not unfair. I mean, a part of the 45k coffee, yeah, which is possible only by paying. Yeah. Uh, Tommy. Yeah. They, uh, well? Yes, just talking about this one. Uh, hmm? I had uh, many returns about uh, the season achievements because uh, what I would see that they are two major problems. The first is that the missions are repetitive. We always get like the Kamazon one, boss rush, uh, guild minigames. Then it will be like some towers level. So the game don't have unlimited resources to provide the new missions. So oh. the more seasons we will get and the more uh, repetitive a mission and maybe re uh, reuse some mission 
will be like a necessity. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's one. Is that it's not getting uh, easier. It's the fact that the game doesn't have much uh, entertainment for making hard mission because basically everything was used except for like uh, expedition with uh, Clara, yeah. which uh, can be very difficult for like uh, eighty percent of the player base. Yeah. So, uh, and the second problem that uh, many people have is like. Uh, when uh, uh, they saw people in the general chat uh, with uh, some borders, they're asking, uh, oh, that's nice borders, but how did you get it? And we told them that it was uh, season achievement before. And it can be a little frustrating for a player who likes getting everything on a game he enjoys to not be able to get like uh, these specific rewards. Uh, so, what kind uh, of player? Are we talking about a new player or someone that aren't as powerful? Uh, it can be like both of them, players mm, that right. didn't have the level to uh, get the final uh, right. reward. But the other side so, of that argument is, of course, that you want old players to feel that, you know, they have sort of some uh, exclusive things as well that people can't get anymore. So, yeah, there's two sides so, of that coin. Yeah, so that's because I was thinking of maybe it could be a possibility. That instead of making a uh, new seasons of uh, achievement, like maybe make a rerun of older achievement with uh, lesser rewards, for example, not uh, the, uh, a skin or a variant of the original skins that only OG players uh, could have and uh, could possess. And mm. for the players who already did the seasons, so. maybe make a very hard uh, season with. Uh, higher difficulty and with higher rewards. So it can be like a rerun mm. for new players and a very difficult challenge for uh, entertained player who wants to have better rewards. Mm. So that's actually interesting. There's like two sides to, to that. Um, if they would do that, I wouldn't stand with a banner and demonstrate exactly, but I wouldn't necessarily agree with it or suggest it myself uh, for that reason I said. Uh, Maybe, but then again, this game is very different. So, like, if someone has a frame or whatever, I don't really care. It's pretty cool the first week when you get it, because you're probably going to be one of the very few that has it. But now, it's like, I never look for that anyways, and it's more just to see their power in a way, to, you know, like, oh, they did this record in Expedition, for example, and I'm saying, oh, there's no frame there, that's weird. Or, or you know, but, like, um, but I, at the same time, I kind of like that, like I said, exclusivity. But you can't really compare it to many other things. Like taking WoW, for example. Like when I opened the gates of AQ and I got that um, legendary mount, for example. I would never want the whole world to have that mount just because I managed to do that. And that should be only me or the very few, you know, that did it. And, you know, fuck that. That's like, what do you say? Like, yeah. Well, the we see some of that kind of the... mentality in real life too with things. We're not going to talk politics now, but yeah, that I'm obviously not uh, for. However, uh, comparing such a extreme mount in that game to a little frame in this game, mm, probably not a fair comparison. Uh, like I said, I don't feel the same about these frames. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I wouldn't mind if they do it, but like make it good at least in in, the, in that case. And I can understand as well being the new player wanting everything, but at the same time, maybe that player shouldn't have everything then because they came in late to the party. It, it's kind of two sides to it, you know. I know the feeling too. Like there are other games that I, I have started late too, and I'm like, oh shit, I missed out on that. Well, that sucks. But at the same time, what if I could do something about it? Hmm. I yeah, think I yeah, would like totally, it. Totally. So yeah. Um, I mean, what they could also do is to expand the whole. Uh, frame thing, by the way, so it could be something as a reward for being top one in Arena, for example, or Colosseum, or anywhere else there's a leaderboard, pretty much. I think that would be really cool, actually, because then you have some more types of prestigious rewards, you know, and those are obviously always available, except they aren't, because they're hard to get at the same time. So I think that is a pretty cool thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, interesting. Miari, it's perfect now. To be honest, Joey lowered the difficulty for uh, of them for those who enjoy cute mini skins. <laughs> oh yeah, um, please add skins that are not kids. Someone says here, anonymous. Uh, actual fun challenges that aren't uh, either. Uh, press that button five times in a row or obliterate the sun with minus thirty six heroes. <laughs> uh, Alex meme, cool and all, but please, why are uh, the costume rewards only kid costumes and a frame? Uh, and Anonymous again, 
have more creative prices instead of uh, compressed JPEG baby skins. Uh, participation rewards in PvP mode dunes, uh, such as doing maybe X amount of matches of Arena 2v3 Colo for people to play them more. Hmm. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Also, um, also to summarize something that I see later came up a lot and I seen it on Korean forums too. People don't like the mini uh, costumes. And uh, I personally don't care. I think they're cute. But uh, what I can inform you if you do like it or don't like it is that the plan is to make one for each element. So we have Princess Light, we have Beth Dark, we have Use Water. Which means that we are still having um, basic fire and what did I not say? Earth. Earth, right. So we're still gonna see those. Um, I think we can agree that Earth is not gonna be camel, by the way, because we already have a small camel. So from the anniversary. Mm, so it could be someone else. Probably, let's actually do some guesswork here. Who, who could it be that's gonna be the next ones? Because, uh, let's see, the first one was light. Okay, yeah. So let's see. Earth Heroes. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be what's her, not Rue either. We have a small Rue. So I think Rue. it's I think it's yeah. Dinia or Mayril. Hmm. Mayril will be a good guess because she's pretty popular, I would say. Isn't she kind so of small yeah. already, though? Yeah, and she holy she has a super costume, so maybe they will do something else. Well, so does uh, uh, FP though. I would make this say Barry, but she's. Pretty useless now. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucking cute, though. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I would love that. Not I gonna like lie. And what are one. these two? I didn't even notice I had those. Where did I get them? Uh, but yeah. I just yeah, buy them. I like, like those I have super costumes for. I'm not even looking. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I mean, that's small may really. We know it works at least. It's adorable. Um. A left doesn't make sense. What would that be? Like a tiny golem? Yeah. Maybe Barry? Yeah. Maybe Barry to motivate player to, do, yeah. I don't know, play her again. I guess. But like Spooky said, though, Barry is like not used at all. So. Yeah, she would need a second X, I would say. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we can exclude Rue and, and, and Camel at least. So, so far, they have been. Actress? It feels like, like Panda Tree would be weird, and Parvati is probably too new, maybe? I don't know if that's a criteria, but yeah. Yeah, she's so, kind of new. So far, they have been like really popular heroes, heroes yeah. all of them. That's true. I would love to see like a baby Craig or baby Parvati just destroying some uh, PvP uh, teams. <laughs> yeah, well, I would actually personally not want Tinia, because I find her super costumes so amazing, so that would be sad to, you know, have them share. That. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the best super costume in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, actually. It might be that. It's uh, definitely up there, at least. But okay, so we have Earth there. W what about the other ones, then? Let's go for basic. Hmm. Oh. oh, I would say FK. Oh, really? Like... No, no, that doesn't that that make, make sense. sense. It could, actually, but though. It could. There's Beth, there's... Future well, I'm talking Princess. about the baby um, baby version of Knight, if you remember from the story. Yeah, baby Knight will be Laura, great. Hmm. And then you have Future Princess, so you have both of them. I think people would actually want that if it's gonna happen anyways. Hmm. Nari is already small, so I guess that's not really gonna make sense. Uh, Aydoleva, that's like Bari territory. Uh, Lon, maybe. Maybe Kanna. Hmm. I don't know. But she has a shape shift, so that'd be weird as well. It's like maybe, maybe, maybe Erina? Hmm, she has a younger version already, though. Hmm. I'm gonna put my vote on Future Knight, actually, as well. It would make most sense. Zoe is not that popular. Like, she's really crazy in the Kai team, but, you know, outside of that, it's... Mm. Yeah, and Zoe is a, is a variant from the light uh, Zoe, so... Uh, yeah, that too. It's... Well, you see it's too, though, so that kind of falls. Yeah. Uh, light guard user. But, yeah. Um, then that leaves us with fire. Yeah, fire. I think that hmm. it will be Vishvak. Oh, That'd it's the cool. first character that came in my mind when we talked about uh, hmm. a small uh, fire character. It will be a little Vishvak. 
That would be nice, actually. I like that. I think it's Mia, for sure. Hmm. 100%. 100% Mia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mia would be... Mia would be really nice. I would love that. Probably not Lin, though, because she's always drunk, so that they might be in trouble for that. Um, but yeah, Mia would be amazing, because she's obviously used a lot as well, so... But yeah, I have no idea what you're going to do after that, though. That's also something to talk about. Mm -hmm. And maybe if we come back to the subject of uh, rewards from mm -hmm. season achievement, uh, we can see that once you get the uh, final uh, rewards, which is basically the third border, yeah, uh, people just stop doing uh, more mission because they just get the max rewards. So maybe just add more rewards, and maybe if you manage to complete every uh, challenge, get a huge reward like earth necklace or, uh, or white uh nah, not white box, uh, green uh, exclusive boxes yeah i mean maybe not this much it's a bit extreme but something more towards this you know some yeah shit in between and you know like here like in the end you know you start getting other things or like maybe not that's not the best what am i thinking about there's another leaderboard that has like a bunch of shit in the end mm. Mm. oh it's so close Ah, oh, nah, it's those um, event roadmap things that we don't have right now, right? Not roadmap, but uh, the event thing. We don't have it right now. Like, you can do that little dungeon that looks like a mirror dungeon and, yeah, get points like that. But, yeah, I agree. It's, uh, yeah. Well, I just hope we get another season achievement, so I think it should be soon, actually. I haven't seen anything about it. So boring. Anywho. Thank for watching. Or does anyone else have something? No? No, right. that's fine. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you later.